to recognize the value of humor in speaking, it makes every speech more interesting. And if you've ever tried to write a humorous speech, you know that it can be difficult. Uh, the judges, contestants, and Sergeant at Arms had been briefed on the rules. Contestants, did you have any questions about the rules of the contest? I'll go over the timing again. Uh, the speeches will be five to seven minutes long. A contestant who speaks for less than four minutes, 30 seconds, or more than seven minutes, 30 seconds, will be disqualified. And there will be no, in, no extra indication if you go over. Uh, each contestant will be introduced by announcing the contestant's name, speech title, speech title, and contestant's name. Upon being introduced, the contestant will proceed immediately to the speaking position and timing as the evaluation contest begins with the first verbal or nonverbal communication to the audience. The green light will be turned on at five minutes and remain on for one minute. The yellow light will be turned on at six minutes and remain on for one minute. The red light will be turned on at seven minutes and remain on until the speech is concluded. No signal shall be given for the overtime period. And as with the other contest, there'll be one minute of silence between the contestants. Protests will be limited to judges and contestants. Any protest must be lodged with the chief judge or contest chairperson prior to the announcement of the winner and alternates. The only issue that can be protested is lack of originality. These are original speeches. And I have mentioned the speaking order. I've mentioned everything that I need to mention. Any questions? Well, let's get started with our humorous speaking contest. Sorry, there we go. That page keeps disappearing. Kathleen Otvos, never enough, never enough. Kathleen Otvos. Susan, fellow Toastmasters, welcome guests. Well, it all started when I was born. I didn't have enough air. I was choking to death. And it probably is the reason I spent my life thinking I don't have enough. started to feed on my mother's breath. She didn't have enough. And that, I was so hungry that I feel like I could never get enough. I could never get enough food. So when my neighbor gave me a bag of marshmallows and said, take these home, your mother would give you one a day. What a day, that won't be enough. So I went up in back of the house and ate the whole bag. <laughs> in school, I felt I could never get enough attention. I was certainly loud enough, but then what happened is they told me to go to the hallway where I never got any attention, except for my mother having to come to school once a week to talk to my teacher. I just couldn't be thin enough. And so when I was about 13, I started going on diets. I couldn't be thin enough. I ate hard-boiled eggs and grapefruit. Well, where we went, uh, then I couldn't be popular enough. I remember as a senior, I wanted to have the most pictures in the yearbook. I had 25 pictures in that yearbook. But I don't know if it was enough, because some of them were so teeny. Even a 
Toastmasters. I I tried to get my picture on the web page, but being in Toastmasters for two years, I still don't have my picture on the <laughs> Toastmasters website. Who's in charge of that anyway? <laughs> I never really had enough love, and that's what it was, really. So as soon as I could, I went out and I started drinking. Well, I couldn't have enough booze either. I remember he, one night I had 21 vodka gimlets. Oh my God, that was the worst hanger of my life. <laughs> I couldn't get enough attention, and I started going out and seeking attention, you know, like looking for Mr. Goodbar. But it was, oh, oh it was Mrs. Goodbar, sorry, <laughs> or Miss Goodbar. And so I would go to the bar every, well, three or four times a week and uh, find someone who would instantly love me and take that person home, and then that wasn't enough, so throw them away. I haven't had enough time in my life. I'm going to be 75 in October. I'm really running out of time. I don't have enough time to do everything I want to. At one point in my life, someone noticed I was so distressed about time they gave me um, something to say over and over, and it drove me crazy. I had to say, there's all the time in the world. And I had to repeat it over and over. There's all the time in the world. It drove me so crazy. Well, one of the things I did to counteract that is I started to meditate. Boy felt like a lot of time. My first meditation was supposed to be 20 minutes. 15 minutes, I was so antsy. I kept looking at the clock, it must be time. I am happy to say that now I can sit for 30 or 40 minutes and feel so comfortable that I have conquered that problem. But I always wish I had more time, more money, more food, better bridge games. <laughs> I want it all, people. I want it all. Thank you.